hello everyone and once again welcome to fame ebong tv and today i'll be teaching you guys how to make a brown kenuso i will try to make this practical video as simple and as easy as possible so that everyone watching this video can actually practicalize it at home and these are my ingredients displayed here so i'll be listing them one by one over here is my palm kernel oil and i'll be making use of 150 grams of palm kernel oil the next is my bleach palm oil i'm making use of 150 grams also this palm oil i actually bleached it with chemicals i didn't cook it with fire i bleached it with chemicals then over here is my water i'll be making use of 80 grams of water this water is what i'll use in dissolving my caustic soda Then the next chemical I'll be showing you is my caustic soda. I'm making use of 45 grams of caustic soda in these practicals. 45 grams of caustic soda. Then here is my steric acid. I'm making use of 36 grams of steric acid. So I've displayed a simple formula on how to know the quantity of steric acid you should use when making your brown canoe soap. Steric acid is actually good because it makes your soap hard. It's a hardening agent. It has a way of making your soap hard. Then the next chemical here is my ethanol. I'm making use of 103 grams. 103 grams. And this is a simple formula on how to know the quantity of ethanol to use when making your brown canoe soap. And also, ethanol is a very good ingredient when making brown canoe soap. It's what actually makes the soap to come out looking brown. It's one of the ingredients that enables the soap to come out looking brown in color. So now that I have displayed all my ingredients, we'll just go straight into the practicals and let's see how we can successfully produce a brown kinuso with these few ingredients. So I'll just go straight into dissolving my caustic soda. So the next thing I'll be doing is to uh, melt my steric acid. You don't just add your steric acid directly into your oil. You have to first, first of all make sure you've melted it. So I'm going to melt mine and I'm using a double boiling method to melt it. So that's water that I have poured into that basin. So the next thing I'm going to place inside is another stainless plate then pour my steric acid into the stainless plate then allow the heat from the water to melt the steric acid this is a double boiling method whenever you pour water into another vessel then allow the heat from the water to cook the other substance that method is called double boiling so i'm using the double boiling method I place my um, um, basin that has the water on top of a, an electric stove. Then, once the water starts boiling, the heat from the water will start melting my steric acid. It's a very simple method, so that when you see double boiling method, you will not be confused and be wondering what is a double boiling method. This is a double boiling method, and I've explained what a double boiling method means. Just in case you come across it, you will not be confused. Now you can observe my steric acid is melting. So this is the best way to add steric acid when doing skincare production and you want to add steric acid. Make sure you've melted your steric acid. Once steric acid comes in contact with heat, it melts. Then also I organize online classes on WhatsApp. So you check the description of this video, you will see a link where you can click on and it will take you to WhatsApp where you can join my online classes on WhatsApp. There you will learn a lot of things. You will learn how to make the body cream, the shampoo, the liquid soap, the hair conditioner, the powder detergent, the organic soap. You learn a lot of things there. 
so just check the description of this video for the link where you can join my online classes where i teach people how to make soap and other production i'm done dissolving my steric acid now and i'm going to pour my oil into this stainless jug and mix it with my caustic soda solution so we are going straight into the practicals you can see how this method is very simple and straightforward with simple formulas displayed on how to know the quantity of ethanol and steric acid you should use you don't want to end up adding too much of any of them so that you will not produce a bad soap so just follow that simple formula so that you add a good moderate quantity of steric acid and a good moderate quantity of ethanol don't forget there is a link in the description of this video where you can click on and join my online classes where I teach soap making and other skincare production so check the description of this video for the link where you can click on it to join my online classes at affordable price or affordable uh, training fees they are not expensive So I've put this on uh, to boil, I put it to boil. I'm going to cook it for at least 15 to 20 minutes. 15 to 20 minutes is okay for this to be ready.
so this is the following day i kept this for at least 24 hours for it to harden up and be ready to be taken off the soap mold so i'm going to take this soap out of the mold so that you can see how brown this soap is you can see the make the brown canoe soap is not as complicated as people think it is and also you, sh you should have to understand that color is not added in brown canoe soap in the production of brown canoe soap people don't add color you don't need to add color if you just use this method the soap will come out looking brown in color it's as simple as that so thank you for watching this video and do well to check the description of this video for the link where you can click on to join my online class on whatsapp you learn how to make soap body cream there are a lot of things you will learn there thank you for watching this video and see you next time on our next program goodbye